right, here we go. The final mission. All I got to do is walk up, and we get a nice upward camera tilt. A tilt, not a pan. Are you listening, Generica? That's a tilt. There it is, in all its glory. The Monetary. Honestly, there are not many screens to it. There are fewer screens than you would expect from a place like the Monetary, honestly. And we're going to work our way through them. There aren't too many battles here, actually, either. The only thing that's really hard about this place, in fact, is that it's sometimes hard to figure out where to walk. Well, hello there, Mr. Pope Heel. This is the Mana Sanctuary, protected land. Okay, that's kind of ironic. Alright, well, I will not detest it then, I suppose. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I can handle that. I'm like level 92 at this point. I gained like 23 or 24 levels just from... Where am I headed now? Damn it, you stupid tree. There we go. I gained like 23 or 24 levels just from getting all the special techniques for all the weapons alone. But for this, I am sticking with Trusty Spear. Because that's still my most powerful weapon out of the bunch. Do we need to go this way or is this just a loop? There's one point in the tree that's just a big old giant loop. Alright, well we'll use that later, I'm sure. Moving right along, our first real fight. There we go. I don't think so, Mr. Malboro, but you'll see the enemies here are not terribly powerful, although the screens you get to fight them on are pretty big, and maybe I ought to turn around to fight that guy, what do you say? Still not following my own advice, am I? This tree is getting me all turned around to topsy-turvy, I say. Alright, and if you keep on moving up, you generally can't fail. I almost didn't think that was a way to go right. What is in here? Alright, another room such like as this. I want to go, yeah, we want to go back around this way into the light, I do believe. Hopefully, yeah, here we go, we're on the right track. Yeah, these are some pretty, uh, these enemies have the opportunity for some rare items. Too bad we're only playing on the normal difficulty. We'll talk more about difficulties in just a minute. Ah, yeah, an item. What do we get? Dragon Breath. There's actually a, uh, place around here called Dragon's Breath somewhere in this area. Mostly they sell stuff so that you can get marijuana out of your system, but that's neither here nor there. I think we want to go up the tree then. Yeah, just as long as you figure out you can basically walk anywhere up the tree that you want, then this isn't too hard, really. Is this a dead end? Nope, it's leading downward. Okay, I don't like the fact that it's leading downward, but... I'm just going to roll with the punches, because this isn't a terribly long mission, event type thing. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to record it with Little Cactus, because after this, we will be meeting the tragic demise of this game and this world. So, onwards and upwards we shall go. Just up, up, up. When in doubt, make your way up. If you can figure out how to make your way up, in fact. We should be about at the point. Alright, oh, little eye. It doesn't look like we can move on from here, though. This may, in fact... Yeah, we cannot go anywhere from here. We just happened to run into a little bit of treasure. So, I'm going to go up this way. Yep, we're moving along just fine. And I'm saving my special meter. Oh, Mr. Chocobo learned how to defend himself. We're going to have to kill him for that. And Spring Ball. I haven't seen you since, I believe, the Yolkin Mines. Spring Balls, incidentally, make great pets because their synchro effect is pure, undistilled invincibility. If your Spring Ball is standing next to you, you are literally completely invincible. So, you can do way worse than to have that for a pet. And here we are at Sanctuary's Gate little bit of a slow tilt as we go in so you know that this is an important place and now from here there's no turning back I don't think there is anyway well no there sure is turning back how about that but now we don't get the tilt when we go back in this place is a little 
three by three grid area. And we have to defeat four sets of enemies in order to get to the, uh, not the middle part necessarily, but to get out of this area, which will then take us, one, we've already defeated one set of enemies, and now once we just go around the grid, that'll take us to the, uh, there's a treasure chest here. All right, knockout dust. And then uh, this will lead us to the middle part. Are there enemies right here? I'm not sure, actually. Nope, just a little sprouting. Uh-oh. Well, that doesn't sound too good. What's down this way, then? At the uh, middle points, at the cardinal points of the compass, I guess you could say, there are treasure chests. And at the other points, there are enemies. And we're going to have to defeat each of these sets of enemies once. In order to gain access to the monster, I guess, who's sucking all the life out of the monotree. Which, of course, is bad for Sproutlings. They are the monotree, essentially. Where'd you go? There you go. I'm going to let that experience crystal get away from me. Nice view, though. And another treasure chest that'll make number three for us. <laughs> That's the last time we'll get to make that joke. Alright, another Sky Dragon, Kid Dragon, and a... I think that's just Land Dragon. Land Monster. I already call it a Land Monster. Oh, another item room. What do we get this time? Wow. Got a couple good spoils from that. Dragon parts are really good for selling and tempering and just basically your all-around extracurricular processes, like raising pet levels and tempering weapons and whatnot. Dragon parts are great for that. Too bad we won't get into many two more of those though. Too many, too, too many, many, too many. Alright. Now we have to make these candy bars last the rest of our lives, okay? I think I'll eat it now. And with that, we move on to the middle of the sanctuary. And for those asking what this song, what the song was in the part two of the special technique montage, here it is right here. Love sounds like kind of a psycho bitch. Okay. That is to say, bring it on. We gotta just move up, and now we get another great interest for the final boss of the game, who is in fact the Mana Goddess. And I don't think we're gonna get to use too many special moves here, unfortunately, because she pops around a lot. Yeah, look at that, ouch. Even that little thing took off 4% whatever it was. But she tends to use a lot of flashy moves, so I don't think we're going to get to do too much of that. But I will try to let her flash at least once to see if I can pull one off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Wow, that was pretty much unavoidable. You jerk. Ah, oh, man, complete miss. Uh, that, that just goes to figure, I guess. Now, let's make her busy for a minute and see if we can. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. That is a very, very, very anti-climactic boss fight. But you should be fairly high level before you attack one, actually, because if she hits you, she does hit you very hard, actually. That does not look like good. And no experience for your last fight, boss fight, because what good's it going to do you? I got news for you. Monetary kind of went away there. Might spell the end of all civilization as we know it, actually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, what a need. Four. What are you doing wasting money on the fortune teller, Sprowling? Huh? That's basically the Sprowling equivalent of your phone ringing. Or your pager going off, I guess. Responding to the call to heal that Nago Monitor. A period of cleansing. Beautiful. All of a sudden the video gets really grainy okay here come all the little sprawlings in from around the world making their way in you are not going to be able to get around this place for squat now if you thought getting outside of your home plowing through them on the sidewalk was bad try making your way through the monotree now yikes i'm just gonna walk up against the tree for no good reason stare at the wall, you dumb sprawling. There they go, flooding into the sanctuary gate. Oh god, the sanctuary. I told you no food or drink in there. Even little cactus has to go and respond to the call. And that's why he can't write in the diary anymore. And now over the credits, this little text epilogue, we get sort of a weird narrative involving Niccolo? they had to use Comic Sans over the credits too. That's, that's ridiculous. What are you supposed to do? Maybe not think about money all the damn time, you free whore. That's better not be coming up to my door with flowers, Niccolo. Way to knock. I did not invite you into my house, Niccolo. You get the hell out. So there we have it. Legend of Mana. I know it took two months. Crazy long time with a lot of delays in filming, but there we are at last. Done, done, done. I do like the font they used over the credits, though. Much classier than Comic Sans. Makes everybody's names look very nice. I like that script. Oh, somebody helped Toad. He bent over to pick up the remote. Now... Now, aww. You know, it's those fairies. They won't help anybody. They've even abandoned poor old Toad. So lonely. That was abrupt. That could not have been all the people. I swear I didn't push anything there. That could not have been all the people in the game. Okay, that was that was bizarre. Something weird happened there. Now, oh, yes, of course. A dumb little Sprouty would come in with a bunch of goofy PG kids movie sounds and ruin the beautiful view. For 
before the first quest, at least, but not quite. Now that the credits have, I guess, rolled, certainly not in their entirety. I'm still a little confuzzled about that. But now we're just going to wait for Finn to fade out. And now there's a little something beyond the credits. This is not the sequence from the beginning of the game all over again. This is an opportunity to give our game a hard save. And now, once we overwrite this data, we will have a music note next to this save. There we go. And that means that we are open to play the New Game Plus. It's going to take us back to the title screen now. We're going to go ahead and load up a game. And that game is going to be our new game. It's going to treat this like an old game, like we've been playing forever. But once we play it, it's going to load it, and it's going to take us to the screen at the beginning so that we can start everything all over again. We already have our character and our weapon chosen, of course, by default. But now we get to pick a new map area. We're going to go ahead and go with the same one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is where we had it last time if memory serves, and I'm going to go ahead and go with that. You do all the same things, except without all the explanation. I'm going to go ahead and confirm our selection. And now there are a few notable changes to the uh, map here. First of all, it doesn't tell us, PLACE AN ARTIFACT ON THE MAP! Anyhow, we're going to go ahead, where, where did we set this? Now we're going to set it in a slightly different place, because I'm going to use a slightly different map this time around. Obviously, we're not going to play through the whole game again, but I'm just going to pick a little bit of a different place to set my home spot down. Mm, I remember like it was almost exactly two months ago. And you can skip this now. We've all seen this before. Unfortunately, you can't skip the next part. We all know about this little opening prologue and everything. Da 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 da. Blah 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 blah. blah. Nine centuries ago, the blah 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 burned. Blah blah. blah, blah. The power of the da da da. Instruments. Your agar artifacts. Hundred years of war. Power of mana. Wayne. Scarce. Afraid of desire. Empty emotions. Grew estranged. All that sad shit. Turn their eyes away. Petty disputes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something me. Blah, blah, me. Provide you with this or that. La, 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 love. La, 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 walk beside me. Da, di, da, di, da. Beautiful gradient color change. And whoop de doop de doop de doop de doo. And fade to black. And now we wake up at home. Little Cactus is back, ready to re-relate all of our adventures. So we're going to have a blank diary, right? No. We still have the adventures recorded from all the other things we did beforehand. So you can actually, at the beginning of the New Game Plus, see what you've beaten and what you haven't, and try to find the new things, if at all possible. So there is that. We're going to go downstairs. Bud and Lisa are nowhere to be found. I still get my 100 lucre, and yet I will still have more than 100 lucre. As you can see, even in this new game plus, I'm still at level 92, I still have 999 hit points, I still have just a gross amount of money, you get to keep all your money, you get to keep all your skills, and all your old weapons, you get to keep all your old items, which is wonderful, but keeping those items wouldn't mean very much if you didn't get to keep all the other awesome things in your immediate home area. We go in the workshops, we'll see. We still have all the workshops at our disposal. Normally these would have been completely empty, there would have been stairways blocking them off, but we can still use them here at the beginning of the New Game Plus if we want. We don't have to do the missions that give us those all over again. Not only that, but we still have access to our orchard. We don't have to do that Wisdom of Gaius mission to get it. It's still just right there right now. Here we are. We still have access to Trent. We can still grow produce. We can still give him seeds right from the beginning of the new game. We still have our pet corral, but we don't have any of our old pets. 
Oh, we still do have our old pets. Never mind, I thought they got lost in the end of the world and stuff. But nope, we still got all of them. We're still doing good. In fact, I think I may have some eggs in here that have hatched. Hey, all right. Hey there, Mr. Oddity Egg. We're just going to name you... In fact, we're just going to go ahead and name you Oddity. Because you hatched from an Oddity Egg. All right, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna take any pets, but yeah, we still have all our old pets from our old quest, which is nice. I've let some of them graze out here and gain levels. Ah, uh, we'll just go ahead and pet Scorpio. Ah, uh -huh. good old blank personality. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Yeah, that's because I haven't really fed them. I just let them kind of eat grass out here. But yeah, we still have everything from before. Plus something new. We're going to go in and we're going to check out our library now. And I haven't really checked out the library before. You can go up to your bookshelf and you can read a bunch of books. We have our character encyclopedia that will give you a short... We'll give you a short little... A, uh... Summary. That's the word I'm looking for. The characters in the game you've encountered. I have encountered all the characters it looks like. You can just do a quick little read about... Oh, that sucks. That's not what they signed up for. You can read about them. You can read about all the different lands and artifacts you put down. There's an artifact encyclopedia. There's an item encyclopedia. Monsters. Have we encountered all the monsters in the game? I don't know. I'm not about to look. I know we haven't grown all the produce in the game. World history. What is world history all about? Wow, I bet that that might clear up a lot, actually. That's interesting. There's a lot of stuff in here I've never even heard about. Good lord. That might actually be enlightening, but I am not about to read 72 entries of world history. Sounds cool and all. We got basic golemology from Professor Baum. We got techniques. We know all of those. We can read all about that, I think. Yeah, that's a very practical way of putting it, I suppose. But now we have all those books, and now we have one more that wasn't on the shelf before. It's the Forbidden Tome. This is how you set difficulty levels in the game. When you read it, the music goes quiet. If you wish to live in peace, if you say yes, that leaves you in normal mode, normal difficulty. And the music pops back up, and everything is once again normal. But if you say no, you do not wish to live in peace, you get asked another question. If you say you want a nightmare, that opens up nightmare mode. Slightly harder. All the enemies are bumped up to at least level 50, I believe. Which, yeah, that's quite a significant increase. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Considering we're at level 92, we can still take on these guys fairly easily. We do not wish to live in peace. We don't want a nightmare. Do you wish to have a future... Do you even want to answer that? We're going to go ahead and say no. That opens no future mode. The hardest difficulty in the game. All the enemies in the game are now set to level 99. Which, we're just 7 levels below that. So it won't take too much longer to get up from there. We're almost at level 99 ourselves. So we'll, we'll be able to be on par with enemies. But we'll never be better than them. We'll be right on equal with them. Which creates a lot of challenge. But it also has a major advantage in that it allows you to... It opens up the possibility for more rare items. The harder the difficulty you're on, the better chance you have of getting rare items, which is going to be good going forward for the tempering process. But now we're going to end the game. We are in no future mode. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get our color blocks from the Sproutling as before. Yes, I did. I knew that. Thanks. We're going to take our color blocks. There's no future difficulty mode, and there's no future left for us in this game. We've explored everything we're going to, and now with that, I bid y'all adieu, and we are finally going to move on to a new game tomorrow. Join me for the teaser to see exactly what game that's going to be. I love you guys. Thank you for sitting with me through all of Legend of Mana, and I will see y'all tomorrow.